I was very disappointed by the PowerPoint today. I was thinking, as I was writing my content on the train on the way in, like, I'm used to like five little dots on a slide, and I thought, well, this audience, nobody's going to be using PowerPoint, right? Uh, we all hate PowerPoint. Uh, and, then I, and then I came here, and you're all five little dots on the slide, so I guess we're not all so different after all. So I'm the enterprise kid, you know. <laughs> made me laugh. Or, well, I had to change the color of the so eyes, didn't I? Right? So, <laughs> so, yeah, I, I work in large enterprise IT. Um, and it's kind of a subject which has become really close to my, my mind and my imagination lately, which is why does the wider enterprise, why does the wider developer community hate us so much? And there, are, there are a bunch of reasons for that. But uh, I've written some blog posts and, and they've they've hit the wider community, and you just get abuse. And uh, it's not my fault I work in the SAP industry. No, hang on, it, it probably is. Um, but what I wanted to do was maybe just explain how, in my mind at least, these two communities are maybe not so far away as they think they are. Um, and there are changes, social technologies going on, technology changes going on, that, that maybe mean it's time to spend some more time talking to each other. Um, so, with that in mind, 6.7 billion people-ish this year, maybe, of which um, 2,000, 2 billion have now got a computer, uh, which is, or access to the internet, which is amazing. And probably, if we take that into account, 20 million developers worldwide. We put that in the context of where I work, there's, there's about a community of about 2 million developers worldwide. Um, what they do, nobody knows, right? Um, but, and what worried me about this particular audience was, if you take that context, probably um, about, um, well, 70% of those are fertile, and about five of those have got any chance of ever getting laid. James, am I allowed to say laid? Is that all right? <laughs> and, uh, Probably 5% five, 5 of those have got any chance of remembering not to use a prophylactic. And this good, James, your conference ideas, it's not good because they're, it's going to die out. <laughs> <laughs> Developers are, a, are an extinct species. But, but um, just putting that into context on a serious note, there's about 2 million SAP developers and about 20, maybe, uh, I'm making up these numbers, but, but 20 million worldwide. And so 80% of those people don't go anywhere near these systems. Um, and since beer is the topic of the day, it'd be rude not to put it in the context. So 148 billion liters of beer made each year. I hope we're gonna make a dent in that tonight. Um, let's, let's, let's hope. But um, in the context, we'll just pull it back to the, the untapped thing for a second and, uh, and that point on microbreweries because that's 5% of the world's uh, beer is made by microbreweries. The other 95% is made by the big manufa beer manufacturers. And what's really frightening about that, probably to this audience, is 90% of those run SAP as their core system. So 90% of the, I mean by volume, so 90% of the world's beer production is done by SAP. 100% of the microbreweries don't use SAP, I think. <laughs> You'd like to think, wouldn't you? <laughs> and the other 5%, they're not there yet. We're working on that. Um, and you put that in the context of Untapped, by the way, and you open your Untapped and you click on the macro breweries, and uh, out of those top nine, uh, eight of them run SAP. Um, so what's not actually to be interested in, because... Um, if we think of, if, I, I think of there as being sort of three broad shifts happening in technology today. Um, and I can't even remember what my numbers are anymore. Ah, oh, 10%. 10% of the world's um, um, population have now got some kind of mobile smartphone. And, that, and that's, that's kind of closer to 25, I think, in the UK and North America. But that's total globally 10%. And that's, that's rising at some enormous rate. So we can access this enormous group of people. And, and really, that's what the developer community is all about, is reaching out to people. And, and we have these great social apps. And coming back to the, the point on beer, we can reach 
25% of the UK theoretically on, ta on untap. That's, that's a, a nice big audience. Um, and that's the number of bytes of information that was created last year. So we, we combine this ability to reach this massive audience of people with the amount of information that's being generated. And, and you combine that with the just enormous volume of information available in these systems of record like SAP, information about uh, customers, about products and pricing, terribly, terribly complex things that, that the likes of, of Workday and Salesforce, are, they're only replicating this small amount right now. Um, and what SAP is doing, which is really interesting, is they're building out to allow access to all of these other people. So their they're, they're integration, compliant, OData, REST-based services, JSON, you can get right the way into the systems of record now. Um, with, with um, once again, all, all the popular tools, Xcode, Eclipse, Visual Studios, plugins for, for all of those things. And I'm just sitting there and thinking, why, uh, why not? Why not say untapped? Why not um, go back and offer to, to Molson Coors, Diageo, Scott and Newcastle? You can go back and integrate with them on the, on the social point. Integrate back and sell services back into those businesses. The, the opportunity for the developer community is just, for me, is just enormous. Um, and you don't have to worry about this enormous cost of integration anymore because it's all there, it's all out of the box. Uh, so I just want, really, the wider development community and the enterprise community to kind of reproduce, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> James, that's me done. I'm done. <laughs>